Howdy partners, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be very different than our usual videos because if you guys remember a really long time ago, I pranked Sam where I pretended that his ex texted me. It's somewhere on our channel, so make sure to check it out. But I thought I'd do another prank because we get those a lot like a lot of people request us to do pranks so i thought i would do one i actually got inspiration from someone who sent me a dm and they asked can you do a i want a baby now prank on sam sam is just getting out of the shower now so when he comes down i'm gonna hide the camera and i'm going to basically tell him that i want a baby now which he'll probably believe so i just want to see his reaction and i'm gonna film it i don't know why i'm nervous i have to figure out where to hide the camera because Obviously, if he sees the camera, he's gonna know it's a prank. I want this to be his genuine reaction, so I really have to hide this camera so he doesn't know I'm filming. I'm gonna figure that out now, and then I'm gonna have him come downstairs. So before I make dinner, I'm just gonna say, hey, before I make dinner, I think we need to have a talk kind of thing. So let's do it. Why am I scared? I have the camera hidden kind of behind the curtain type thing, so I don't think he's gonna see it, but let's go. I'm waiting now, and let's see what happens. Um. Hey, Doug. Hi, Gordon. What's up? Where's my phone? I've been looking for my phone. What's up, baby? <laughs> what? So I've can I? Soon. Can I say something without you getting like scared or anything? <laughs> I don't know how old you're gonna feel. Oh, I'm kind of scared now. Uh, yeah, of course. What would you say? Because I just want to be completely honest. Because we always talk about how you know being honest is the important thing with our relationship. Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. Is this about the wedding? No, because we were filming a video earlier and we were talking about when we have kids in the future. <laughs> right. And you said in the video. Oh, in 10 years time, blah, blah, blah. I've been thinking about it a lot because, you know, I have friends who have kids and stuff and we've been hanging out with our friends who have kids. And you got baby fever because of car Of course surgery. I have baby fever. Oh, but... dude, you come in. <laughs> you got baby fever from Carter, haven't you? Yes, I have baby fever. You see his handprints on our TV still. Yes, okay. <laughs> but I literally was like, really upset the past week after we hung out with like the babies because I'm like I really think I do want to be like a young mom so I literally don't know how to say it I'm like nervous to say it but I don't know why I just wanted to be honest because 10 years is way too like far for me and I kind of want like a baby now <laughs> I'm serious <laughs> yes I am darling you've got baby fever because you've been hanging out with Carter you all, and whenever you see Jack, you always, you know, you always get sad for a bit because you love babies. But then I know, but I we've got to think baby. about it realistically, haven't we? Because I mean, our wedding's in less than a year. What about like after the wedding? Most people end up having kids after their wedding anyway. How long after? Like the wedding night, we can conceive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like soon. I mean, Mum's friend did say that it was a night of fertility. Do you remember? No, that? yes. Mum's like psychic friend. Yeah. No. Uh, I don't know if you're being serious or not. I don't I'm know being 100% just... serious. We I just really want a baby right now. I just was thinking about it. I yeah, want to be... I really want to be a young mom. Like, Sorry. I don't want to... I don't want to get to be, like, 33 or 35, however long you say. Baby. And then, like... Because I want four kids. Like, I don't want to have to have kids when I'm, like, 50. Like, I want to, like... I want to get going. I just want to start a family with you once you live in America. I think we both definitely have to compromise with it, don't we? Yeah. Because... Ideally, I want to wait at least 10 years. Yeah, that's like wait. Because, like, I want to be now. You know, like, you know, my parents were older when they had me and they got to live a really fun life before. I'm not saying that we're not going to live a fun life when we have a kid, but it, it you know, being completely honest, it's going to affect our kind of mobility, you know, kind of our freedom as, at the end of the day, isn't it? Because yeah. we're not going to be able to kind of just travel anywhere on a whim and, no, you know, go and saying. explore and do like road trips and stuff like that. Um, I definitely see what you're saying, it's just, I just... I don't know, it's, it sounds bad, but I don't want people thinking we're having a kid for YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, I, I know what you're saying, but I just, it's just like kind of important to me. I just want to be like young when I have a kid, I don't want to have to... Well, we can definitely have a talk about it, darling, but 
How about we get the wedding over with first? Dummy. <laughs> so you're tearing up. I just really want a baby. No, I just I can't wait you. for you to be my baby's daddy. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. Well, how about after the wedding and after I moved into America and stuff, we can really have a talk about it. But I mean, for now, I literally live on a different continent, to you, so we really. I know right now it. is not the best time. That's why I'm saying like right after the wedding, I think it's a good time. But you know what else is a good time? Do you know what else is a good time? Um, right now. No, not no. Right now. I mean, right now is a good time because if you look over there. <laughs> Behind the curtain. Oh. I am breaking you, Ooh. sucker! I'm I got Taylor. you! I'm done! I got you, sucker! Do you I want a baby, you. though? Of course I want a baby, but not right now. You, you swear? I, yes, I got you, sucker! <laughs> you scared the life out of me. I was like trying to think, like, how can I navigate this? Because I really don't want a kid right now, I'm but I want to keep you as happy as you. possible. I'm sorry for scaring you. I don't want a baby right now. I do it within the next 10 years, but not right now. Well, something we definitely have to have a conversation though, thinking about it, isn't it? Yeah. I know you want one sooner, but I literally do want to wait like 10 years so that I can... Yeah. I want you all to myself. <laughs> can I just say? Yeah. I got you. How do you feel about that? I'm I annoyed, like you never prank me. Fast. I know that's why you wouldn't expect it. And I had to hide it because I knew if you saw me recording, you know it's prank. Guys, that was a success and that was a much better reaction than what I was expecting. I thought you'd just like laugh in my face and be like, peace. <laughs> I'm so happy that with that reaction though. That was so sweet. I love you. I don't want a baby now. What was my reaction? I can't even remember. What, are you in that much shock? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember what I said. I think I, I you know, basically... You're saying now's not the right time, I which mean, it isn't. Yeah, like literally as soon as you said it, I thought it was just because we literally saw Casa like two weeks ago. We were hanging out with babies in the past few weeks, so it really did come at a good time this prank because you saw And ever it. since you've been you've been being like, oh my god, I've got such baby fever and then I was like, I do why don't you have puppy fever? fever? No, like, I do. Oh, soon. I have that too. No, I do have baby fever, but like it's, I know when you say I can't wait to have a baby, but I can wait. It's that kind of thing. Like I can't wait to be a mom, but I really, really can wait. I don't want a baby right now. I was we have so to, much to figure out. I was ready to be like, damn, I'm gonna have to man up to make this relationship work and provide you with a child. <laughs> At least your mum would be happy having a young yeah. grandson or uh, granddaughter. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry for pranking you. I'm gonna go make you steak now. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared because now you're gonna get me back at some point. Last time she pranked me was like three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. And I didn't get you back just because I'm not big on pranking. Neither am I, but have we, I've gotten so many comments saying Honestly, do a like, baby prank. I was like a bit of a prankster as a kid actually, but like I've never pulled a prank on you. I've always just been genuine about you, doesn't you I? know you can't really But then the, like I literally I literally never pranked you in the five years we've been dating, but when I asked you to marry me, you I scream is this a prank like twenty seven times. Like it felt too good to be real. I hope you guys enjoyed this prank. I'm so sorry again for pranking you, but a lot of people have requested it. So if you were one of the people who sent me that message, then you're welcome. <laughs> I was gonna say I literally get people sent you messages. Yeah. Because I was gonna say I hadn't seen any comments. I saw that. another DM today, but I've been getting like comments and DMs for the past like year saying to do this prank, so I finally did it. Love you. <sighs> Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. We're gonna go make a baby now. Bye. <laughs>